Hello, hello everyone. My name is Stiftsran and welcome back to Attila Total War. Or Total War Attila. I seem be singing Attila Total War all the time. Actually, my title is also Attila Total War, although it should be the other way around. And I actually just caught that, like, a week ago. But I'm not intending on changing it because, well, it doesn't appear to have done that much damage and, yeah, why not? I've heard several other people calling it Attila Total War and, uh, well, at the end of the day, who really cares? Anyway, so I did take care of that army, because apparently, when I... I just did a quick poke out to see what my chances were. And apparently my chances were pretty good, that was result. And then they fled to about here. And then I chased them, I auto result, got rid of the last remaining guys. And then I saw that if I enabled Force March, I could actually get to Vienna. So hey, it's defended against the Caledonians. Although, Avaricum is not that lucky. I'm also thinking that these guys should have a, uh, a second thing they could be able to do. After they've taken out these guys, which they hopefully will be able to do. And that is to make sure that these regions actually don't rebel, because I would prefer them not to. Yeah. Kind of reason. There were kind of a reason as to why I had a an army there, but turn out uh, turns out that when I tried to defend one region, uh, the pesky Hispanians they attack another region, and when I go and move over to defend that one, then they attack the one I just came from defending, and then you can see why I get a bit annoyed about it. So yeah, I'll I'll need an army to actually stay there and make sure that they stay in order. Because I don't want that. I don't want uh, this to rebel, but I don't want to just stay there and don't do, don't do anything either. And I don't have the money to get another army, like recruit a new guy. Five freaking thousand. That's a bit too expensive. Yeah, I have too many freaking armies, but I need them. That's the, uh, that's the unfortunate part of this. So I am setting up. Uh, a priest to try to deal a bit with uh, the public order issues, but he's not going to be able to stop it. And that's why I'm hoping that this army will be done with this one rather quickly, so I can actually have them go down here and make sure that no rebellions take place. Although, I can almost guarantee that a rebellion will take place with minus 28, and we do not have a conquest debuff. Yeah. The devastation and all of that will go away, but that's about it. Also, I'll move this army down here. Make sure that I have kind of a forward defense against the Langobards and the Saxons. And at the same time, make sure that these, this region is under control. And their presence, 9. Yes, yes indeed. And also, yeah, we have seen the Caledonians, we've seen the Geats. It's in the Picts. We can clearly see the Picts, although I'm not at war with them right now. And we have seen the Ebdanian. So, it would be... Would be smart to have an army in the vicinity, in my opinion. But I think that is it when it comes to... What I am to do. Also, just make sure that... I know we didn't have enough points for that. But all of these guys are actually relatively safe when it comes to uh, their uh, when it comes to their loyalty only this guy's really an issue and he, <laughs> he has enough influence now to actually use his ability but unfortunately he cannot use it on, on himself so I have to wait until I don't know who really depends on how quick they gain influence but probably this guy is gonna have to use his ability and I hope, I really hope that this guy's loyalty is not going to drop, like, suddenly. Although, you never know. But yeah, that should be it for that turn. Except for a few skills. And there we go. Ah yes, of course, the general, the victorious general. He leveled up. Hopefully deservingly. So, Geet Agents. Well, they're a bunch of Geets, aren't they? 
if you know what I mean. Ah, the Abdanians are retreating. Nazism. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. God damn it. Well, these units are rather crappy. These aren't any better. These guys are better. The Axemen. No skirmishers. Meh. And mounted raiders. So... I don't know, I have heavy troops. But this is the layout I hate, right? I think so. Or maybe not. Didn't they... Didn't they hold back against an attack from the Geats? I can't remember. But anyway. We're gonna fight it anyway, to make sure that we do as much damage as possible. Also... Yeah, we... We are out number 3 to 1. But we have faced worse orders earlier. Oh yeah, it's actually a, a layout which I should be able to defend. At least a bit easier than the uh, the layout I would call uh, Abandoned Coliseum. I think I also called Abandoned Coliseum in the... Maybe not the last part, but one of the more recent parts. So mounters are probably gonna have to use heavy ammo just to do as much damage as possible and hopefully not waste their ammo. Gonna have to see about that though. So unfortunately we have, well, it's better than no wall at all, but there's still a layout which has three choke points and not two. That is, of course, going to be an issue. By the way, yeah. At least these guys up here. Make sure that they do their damage. Or oh, maybe up here. Somewhere. And yeah, we have way too few troops to actually defend each individual choke point at the towers, where I would really like to have some of them so that they could continuously fire on them. But yeah, I think these guys are gonna gonna get destroyed. Oh well. Gonna just have to make the best of it. So yes, heavy shots and have them go over them. Yeah, I don't really have a good place to have you lot B. What about my cavalry? I don't know, this is pretty vulnerable. These are very light melee infantry, even if they do have... Uh... Oh, those are Nordic Band, never mind. Medium. I still do quite a bit of damage there, but I think they have some... Uh... Yeah, they have missile. missiles, and I think they are axes, so they can be extremely deadly, as I've shown you in my Jutish and Frankish campaigns. Yeah, I can't really find one specific area, like one of the specific split armies that is more susceptible to cavalry attack than the others. I guess these ones are, but they also have spears. And even if they are not the best spears in the world, they're still spears. But yeah, I think, I think we'll go on the offensive. Well, not us go on the offensive, we'll then go on the, on the offensive, of course. Well, not with that attitude. So maybe I should have my exploratories just here, just in case these guys actually go for that. Actually, let's let's save you just a little. Although I think that may be visible. Oh well. But yeah, I'm placing these guys on top of the wall for what I think are obvious reasons. And if you didn't know, well, here we go. I love this volley fire. <laughs> As they get closer. Oh, 
Although it is the light unit that are taking the most damage from this. Okay, give them some space. Enemy units have returned to the battle. There you go. That seems pretty good. Oh, and now we're seeing an all out cavalry charge. Maybe. But not against the extremely wide choke points, which I. where I thought we would see some action. But at least that's pretty good. And yeah, look at these guys getting the t their kills already. Ah, there we go. Is that the same unit? I think it is, so... <laughs> they, uh, they changed their mind a bit. The enemy is attacking our general. Uh, yeah, let's use your arrows here, for the time being. And if needed, we'll, we'll shift them over to here. And yeah, I think they're gonna be needed. Also had to let go go over here because I I need more than just these Palatina to uh, hold the forts. And yeah, I guess this is a good tactic from the the cavalry. Disrupt the formation and make it so that I have to reform it. And uh, I click the second too late, of course. But yeah, disrupt the formation and make sure that it's not in effect. And then send in the infantry. Apparently it's, apparently it's very effective, so I guess I can't fault him for that. Those are br rather irritating. Thankfully I have some of these guys doing a pretty good job. Although I really don't think they need heavy shots for this. But at least it will make it more likely that they'll hit with uh, every shot they take. Not hit, but to kill with every shot they take. Although they've only killed four. So, I don't know. Well, I guess it's getting better. Anyway, when we get these Lego up, we'll have a, uh, maybe not a solid defense, but at least much better than it used to be. So yeah, let's give them a charge. Not even charging a spear unit from the back, so hopefully that'll help just a bit. And eventually, this will rack up the kills, right? 18. Hmm. Have to admit, I'm a bit disappointed in that. Oh well. Yeah, the cavalry already have more kills. Wow, they are effective. Well, shouldn't really say wow. That's like fake enthusiasm, because I know that they can be bloody effective. And apparently the enemy knows that as well, because they're sending the naughty levy after me. And as we know, they are spare units, so I need to be careful. So yeah, these guys are unfortunately not in formation. Still. Although I could try to... Hmm. Probably not going to be a good idea to try to pull back and uh, rearrange that formation. Because they're going to take quite a few kills when I pull them back. And the, the second line isn't really protecting this opening right here. So they will be able to just stream on through if they try to force it. Let's see, 43 kills. Well. Decent enough, I guess. So our settlement is burning, so we're losing a bit of morale, melee attack, and melee defense. Oh well. Thankfully, it's still, it's still only one. And is this due to the tower? It might be due to the tower. On one of... No, it can't be my archers. It's probably due to the tower. There we go. Get them out again. Get them rested. And get them set up for another one. Nice. Very nice. In fact. They're already fresh. I guess I didn't get time to actually tire. And the skirmishes have almost unloaded completely. That's pretty nice. Oh god, I thought my thought my computer was about to freeze there for just a second. 
Uh, this is the second take of this uh, this part, by the way. And, well, you guessed it, my computer froze. Seems to have an issue with that. I'm suspecting... I'm suspecting it is an issue with uh, my motherboard. Because that's really the only part of it in my computer that is really, really crappy right now. I originally thought it was my power supply, but I upgraded my power supply and... Well, it didn't work in the end. It seemed to work, but then it didn't. So, I don't know. And I heard people say RAM, but I should have more than enough RAM. And when I say people, I mean people I've talked to say uh, say might be the RAM, but I don't really think it is. So this is a situation where it would be really handy to be able to break down the barricade yourself, or be able to just jump over it, you know? Because I would want these guys to be able to outflank here, but I can't. I simply can't. Yeah. Exactly. Well, let's get him over there then, where they at least can be slightly useful. And what do you... Okay, you turned around again. Well, I'm just gonna go go here then. It's not that hard, is it? No, not really. So the, the leg here were holding pretty nicely. They should be superior to the opposition, and 120 kills, although keep in mind that a lot of that is due to uh, the, well, uh, their ammunition. Okay, fresh. Nice. Fresh meat. Well, exhausted meat for the fresh. Yeah, not following my orders, I see. So, uh, you want to get yourself killed? You well, if you want to. But I'm gonna do my damnedest to try to stop you from doing so. Okay, and there we go. Back information. So, how are you guys faring? Well, partially overrun. Although, not completely. Yeah, why not? I'm not gonna be able to do anything else with these guys. Ah! The Axemen routed again. That's nice. That's very nice. And Cavalry, what are you doing? You're pulling out after quite a few casualties. Are you going out of my cavalry then? I think so. Well, cavalry versus cavalry. I have more, although you still have some uh, some ammo. And you didn't use it, so should be able to take that out pretty easily. And when I say easily, I do not mean without any casualties, unfortunately. Though I really would have liked that. Yeah, I think it's time to be a bit defensive here. And not in the humoristic side of things. Are you still holding? Yes, you're still holding. Thank you. That may actually... Well, probably not gonna win me the battle. But you can clearly see that I have done an extreme amount of damage. I've killed... Almost killed 2,000. 1,900 I'm up to. Just wow. So how many did I lose there? About 10? 12, actually. I was at uh, 57, I think. I think. Maybe at 56. Over 10. That's... That's the most important there. And you are very tired, so you may have to rest for two seconds. 
Maybe I can't afford to have you rest, actually. <laughs> and the Palatinians are still fleeing inside the settlement. That's interesting. Oh well, a total upflank like this should break this. Completely. So... Get to rest when you're dead. That's gonna have to be my policy. Or at least the policy with this this little blob there. Oh, the general is going after me. They are not... They do not have spears. Do they have ammo? No, they do not have any more ammo. So if you can take out these guys... Or make sure that they rout, it'll be a major victory. Okay, you better not freaking return here. Most of these are, are shattered, only one seems to be still remaining. Uh, yeah, I'll send my... okay, never mind. I was gonna send my archers after them, but I don't think... I don't think that... Uh, well, now it doesn't really matter anyway. So all of these are exhausted. How are you still? F how are you still fresh? Oh come on, come on! You can't start a waiver now. Reinforcements are just about to arrive, you fool! Ah oh, god damn it! Do I have to really do this? Apparently so. Oh, Axeman. Freaking Axeman. Yeah, I need to deal with that. Yeah, if there's anything uh, that can stop me winning this, it's the Axeman. Just, just destroying my units. And of course, now they stopped routing. Well, I still think uh, I would be... No, not that way. Come on. You know better than that. Apparently not. Okay, let's go for the old out then. My horses are relatively well rested. And they should be able to hold out against the Axemen for just a few seconds. And if they turn their back to me, it definitely will give me <laughs> an initial advantage on the charge. And... There we go. Come on, break this damn thing. There you go, 20 men dead in an instant, and they are gone. Oh yeah. So, back to the plan. Have these guys go over here, and yes, with this small alteration, which I apparently am forced to make. But all of this is wavering. Well, most of this is wavering. Or very close to. And what are these guys doing? I have no idea. It does seem a bit confused. But yeah, let's have these guys go back, rest for like three seconds, and suddenly they're all the way back up to fresh. Don't ask me how. And then we'll go on the offensive. Thirty... Thirty horses. Thirty men and horses, still remaining. And look at the kills, 503. You're bloody brilliant. How much morale? Minus 2. Okay, apparently that's acceptable. Because uh, they haven't, like, shattered just yet. Should I have these guys leave formation? I don't know, they may shatter very rapidly if I do so. Well, speaking of shattering very rapidly... That's apparently something my enemy has uh, a hobby of doing. But yeah, let's leave this formation, and then go on the offensive. Advance. Advance. I may have given up and I'm 
running for their lives. Yeah, there we go. I shouldn't have left that formation. But oh well, I did. Well, I guess I kind of left that gigantic blob. So, uh, oh. Yeah, that may have been a huge mistake there. Just may. Though these guys are rested, and they aren't the best, but they're still medium melee infantry. Really only the bowmen that I really have to worry about, in my opinion. Oh, did the cavalry shatter? Goddamn. That may have doomed me. I don't know. And maybe I should try to leave the bowmen uh, from this fight. And leave the ones that are actually capable of uh, attacking. Oh, well, I guess they uh, they made that decision for me. They're very, very nice of them. Yeah, I think I did a, uh, a bad mistake there. When I left that formation, and when that actually broke, I kind of eliminated the, the anvil. And if I haven't done that, hadn't done that, I think I would have made the, uh, the hammer much more painful. Although, I have a new anvil. Which potentially could be a hammer, I guess. It's actually a more potent hammer than this is. Though now I... Oh, these guys are gonna break. Please don't break. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I lost the battle. Can, we can just fast forward it from here. Look at how close I were. Well, I guess this is still chain routing. But there's still a few key units here that really needs to break before I can say that this is a victory. Most notably, the Axe War Band and the Nordic Warlord. Well, there goes one of them. But now my units are starting to break. And the Axemen are coming back. And that was incredibly close. And... Goddamn. Well, at least it is going to be an easy cleanup for my other men. So, are these guys going to be idiots as well? Are they... Are they going to raid this? Are they going to destroy it? What are they going to do? Are they really going to capture it? Because it has been a while since I actually seen someone capture the stuff. Yeah, they mainly raided it. I... I don't see that. Why do they do that? They commit so much to the attack. They committed two whole armies, and that army went into attack that it, well, as you saw, had a quite decent chance of losing. Well, I guess from the from the AI's case, it actually had a solid chance of winning, but that turned out not to be correct. Oh well, I think that uh, that settlement will actually be able to take another one of those attacks. Well, you saw how well they actually did against that gigantic stack. So, on the long term, I would want to see an army defending this, kind of be the outpost. This kind of being the outpost, my northern outpost, at least in in Gaul. And I may recapture this, recapture this, resettle it. But for now, this is the northern part. So I would want an army here, but I currently don't have the means to do so. Not at the same time defending, well, the other stuff I have. That is unfortunate, and they didn't settle, so I can't really chase them. I can try to, but I can't reach them. So I'll have them do the other thing, which I said they would do. Make sure that this is not a gonna rebel. I only need to get this guy into the, the region to be able to activate his ability. Actually, what is the... Uh... Hmm. It doesn't say anything about moving, but if I move him just one tiny smidge, I think that I stops him from using the ability. So let's see, like, half. Oh, you can still use it. Well, let's go ahead then. Minus six, hooray! Okay, that was actually much better. Characters nine, really? Hmm. And thankfully it does level up from that. And with the army, that should be fully stabilized. So, hooray! 
it actually proved to not be a horrible decision. But what did prove to be a horrible de decision was not to have your army actually stop here, because I saw the Hispadian army. Oh, nice. But I saw the um, Hispanian army actually passing through here, and yeah, they didn't they didn't actually stop and protect it, or engage my army for that matter. So that was a bit weird, but it definitely played to my favor, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, empty construction slot. Well, I'll deal with that in the next part, because we are definitely at time. So yeah, I thank you so much for watching this part, I hope you did enjoy it, I know I did, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.